Islam is so clear and explicit. Killing of any innocent human being is totally prohibited. And I remember in Bombay in 2006, I gave a talk on is terrorism a Muslim monopoly? That's a different subject altogether. And that happened immediately after the train bomb blast in Bombay. And the situation in Bombay was tense. Here the police is telling me that why don't you give a talk to explain to the Muslims? And the Muslims are telling me why don't you give a talk to the police to explain? Because I'm on the edge of a sword now. In a sensitive situation, I gave a talk on is terrorism Muslim monopoly. And I gave my views. And during question and answer time, there was a Hindu who came and told that if I was a Muslim, you know, thousands of Muslims were killed in Gujarat, thousands of Muslim women were raped, and later on there was a bomb blast that takes place in Bombay. More than 180 people are killed, and it was in the newspaper that Muslims are behind the bomb blast. So during question and answer time, this Hindu gets up and says that if I was in the place of the Muslim, and if thousands of Muslims were killed, and thousands of women were raped, I would have done the same thing. I would have done the bomb blast in Bombay. And everyone clapped. I told him that what you're behaving is like a normal human being. It's a reaction. Thousands of Muslims are killed. And if thousands of Muslim women are raped. But I cannot do that. I being a Muslim, I cannot do that because my Quran, the last and final commandment in the Quran, does not permit me to kill any innocent human being. If some Hindus have done in Gujarat, it does not permit me to kill the other Hindus in Bombay. It is prohibited in Islam. Just because some Hindus did some mistake in Gujarat, I cannot harm the Hindus of Bombay. If you catch the Hindu in Gujarat who has done the mistake, give him to the law, give him punishment, I'm for it. But you cannot take revenge by killing Hindus in Bombay. It's not allowed in Islam. Imagine the innocent Hindu who's been harmed, his family forever would become enemies of Islam. Killing any innocent human being is prohibited in Islam. We would so beautiful things by this man. Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. He taught us to love and to care.